my hope is that some of these can just aid as a reminder to allowing your intuition to shine and to lead you and illuminate the path for what your own version of health and wellness looks like because it's going to look so different for every person and that is my goal is to show you to show you the path to you your body knows what it needs it's just getting rid of the noise and some of the toxins purifying our vessel so that we can actually receive our wisdom and our guidance and by doing some of these simple simple things you are going to be well on your way my friend hello beautiful souls and welcome back today we are talking all about 5d health and wellness this is inspired by a recent event that i did and i shared a channel message from my guides all about how do we optimize these bodies for the new earth for our highest good our highest ascension and I'm not going to share that whole channeled message here, um, but I wanted to share some of the takeaways really um, that came through and some of the questions that were asked during the event I thought were very relevant to bring up here and share with you all. Um, I think that optimizing these bodies is <laughs> truly one of the fastest ways to ascension and spiritual growth and really where we're going in this new earth and this higher realm of consciousness it really requires optimizing our bodies we cannot be i i'm i'm of the belief that struggling with our health is a lower frequency and it keeps us at a lower frequency and i i truly believe that when we optimize our bodies it really is like one of the fastest ways to not only grow spiritually, but to really support our spiritual growth. And um, I believe that they go hand in hand. I don't think that we can have like a truly optimal life if we don't feel good. We just can't. Feeling good and having good health is a part of being at a higher frequency and a higher level of consciousness. And I believe that so often, you know, a lot of things in our society are just trying to keep us unwell. I'm just going to put it out there <laughs> because our system is, is broken. It's broken and it keeps people stuck being reliant on others, outsourcing their health and really being reliant upon doctors and healers um and and a system that is broken and i believe that our souls our spirits did not come here to forget our power we came here to remember it and so that is what i am here to help you remember is you are so powerful you are so powerful and so i just want to share some like very 3d easy, like tangible things that we can do as well as some of like the spiritual things that we can do because it's both like we have to have both. And I think that optimizing these bodies is one of the greatest gifts. I really do. I think it's one of the greatest gifts that we can experience in this lifetime because it comes, it brings us into such a deep level of awareness. I know that for myself, my health journey and my struggles with my health at the time they don't make sense but now i see them as just with so much love and gratitude because they've gotten me to understand myself and they've brought me closer to my connection with god the universe my guides my source my soul really it, if it wasn't for the struggles with my health I don't believe that I would have this, who knows, who knows what, what different journey or timeline I would have walked, but I believe that it has brought me into such a deep 
understanding. And here's the thing, I'm still on it. I'm still learning and discovering this body. There's still so much for me to unlock and understand about her, but I've come a long ways. I've come a long ways. And, and I haven't done that alone. I've had a lot of support along the way from other healers, from friends, from mentors, but some of the greatest and most profound shifts are when I was led back to myself and whether that was from someone else or myself and my own journey. Um, it's always when I was led back to myself and my own wisdom. And we're going to forget, we're going to forget our own wisdom. We're on, we're going to forget our own truth, but, um, part of, it's part of, it's part of the game we signed up for. <laughs> so, um, I want to start off with some very, like, these are some very tangible, like 3d things that, um, I just need to address. I need to address because I think that, um, like no matter how far you are in your spiritual journey, like these are things um, that I would recommend implementing ASAP. <laughs> um, I've talked about some of these before, but I'm going to say that these are like my top, like if you want to grow spiritually, um, these are very important things to do. The first number 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 one water we really have to have clean water there is so much in the water these days and i could do an entire podcast on water i probably should because there is so much there is so much about water and my guides have that's one of the things that they shared about in the event that i did but um just making sure that you have clean water i'm going to put a link uh below for the water filter that I use. Um, I have tried many, 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 <laughs> and I, I actually have two. Um, the main one that I use is going to be the aqua true and you plug it in and it is reverse osmosis. Um, but I also have, um, a Berkey and a radiant life or if, or when I didn't, um, have power. Um, or needed it for, you could go camping or something, right? And um, bring that. Uh, and that those are nice to have because they don't need power. So um, yes, I would say though, the number one ultimate would be spring water fresh from the source. But um, yeah, I just have to address water because if you are, <laughs> you're not drinking filtered water, you are getting pharmaceuticals, uh, like literally feces, um, so many toxins, heavy metals, parasites. Uh, it's just, I hate that I have to like say this and I hate that it's such a problem. And I don't like to be like a, like you need to do this type person. But like, if you're, if you're listening and watching this, like you want to optimize your health. And so I'm going to share with you the things uh, that are going to help you do that. And water is my absolute always, always, always number one always, uh, because we are 75% water. And, um, I'm just going to say Breda's refrigerator filters it, like they, I'm sorry, those don't cut it. Um, most, the majority of water filters are not filtering enough. So, and even if you say it tastes good, it's probably just because they're filtering the chlorine out. Uh, unfortunately it's probably still having all of the other toxins, uh, that get in the water. Um, secondly, this goes piggybacking right off of water is going to be minerals and electrolytes. This is something that, uh, I believe is very important because especially, um, in the case, if you're drinking reverse osmosis, like I drink, uh, it takes the minerals out of the water because it's filtering it so much. Right. And so, um, adding some minerals back in is going to be very important so that you are actually absorbing your water, which again, I will put a link for the minerals that I, um, that I use. Otherwise it's, uh, I noticed this for myself. I was drinking and drinking and drinking, and I was like, just peeing it all out. And, uh, 
we need to hold the water that we're drinking and minerals help us do this. If you don't have minerals, um, or if you don't feel like investing in those, um, using some salt, some really good quality sea salt or Himalayan salt. And this will help, uh, structure the water so that you can hold onto it. And, um, the electrolytes, if you are a light worker, if you are a healer, if you are in this process, you're probably going to need some electrolytes. I really think that, um, I've done a few sessions now for, for channeling where I will pick up on, um, the person really needing electrolytes. Um, it really just helps. It'll help you think better, feel better. Um, uh, it's not just for athletes. It's really, it's really just an essential component, uh, uh feeling good. <laughs> so, um, the next one piggybacking off of this, because it goes right into it is salt, like literally salt. A lot of people think that salt is bad. Well, table salt is very bad. Yes. Iodized Morton's salt, that traditional one, most of the traditional ones they're yes, terrible. They're stripped, they're bleached. You don't have minerals in them. They're not good, but actually our bodies need salt. So if you are like feeling fatigued, having headaches, um, just not feeling good, like adding salt. And like, if you're actually really having headaches and really feeling fatigued, I'm going to suggest not even like the little pinch of salt in your water. I'm going to suggest like literally like an eighth of a teaspoon to a fourth of a teaspoon. And I know it's going to sound like a lot, but like I can't tell you how many times that has helped people that I've worked with, myself. Our bodies need salt. And I'm talking like good quality sea salt um, and really good Himalayan salt. These are going to be the two. I go back and forth between them. Uh, I I personally like sea salt a little bit better. Um, but every once in a while, I'll go to Himalayan salt because I think that um, it has different minerals, different mineral components. Um, and I like to get a little bit of both. So I switch off, um, but I, I prefer sea salt and, um, yes. So salt, it's like, please stop the, if you're going to buy something with no salt, like, <laughs> um, like butter, like I always was confused butter with no salt. It just tastes better. It tastes better with salt. So, um, okay. These, the next one actually these next two. Um, it's so sad that I still have to talk about these, but I just want to like remind you it's no, it's not sad that I have to talk about these. It's sad that it's sad that these are available to be honest. It's sad that these are available and that is deodorant and toothpaste. Two wonderful things I use daily but they have to be the right kind. Deodorant should not have aluminum. Toothpaste should not have fluoride. These are so important. Um, there's a lot of natural deodorants, so many natural deodorants now. Um, you just want to make sure that it doesn't have aluminum. It, you don't like putting heavy metals on your skin is it, your skin is your largest organ. And so it's like literally going right into your bloodstream. Um, a lot of people share with me that they're um, scared of like that they would smell and I get that. And that is a very real thing. And if that is the case for you, you're going to want to try to do some um, bentonite clay. These are like detoxes that you can do for your armpits and like get some bentonite clay and do like literally a mask on your armpit. Okay. And as you also clean up your diet and eat clean, you're going to notice that you're, you, you don't smell like I, um, I can actually not wear deodorant and, and I'm fine unless I'm like doing some rigorous activity, then I'll notice like that I'm smelling. Um, or if I'm like out in the really hot heat, but like, if I'm not doing those, I actually don't really, if I'm not like exerting myself a lot, I don't really need deodorant. Um, 
I still use it because I don't want to smell, but I use the really good natural ones um, because they just put so many toxins and heavy metals um, in the traditional ones. So, um, and you can, here's the thing, like you can make your own. Um, one of my sweet, good friends, she actually makes, I'm going to plug her. I'm going to plug her and put her, uh, link to her deodorant. Holly's keeping it real. She makes her own deodorant and she sells it. You could make your own as well. Um, it's literally just like baking soda and coconut oil and essential oils. And she does it in little jars. Um, and you just take a little bit, rub it on. You're good to go. Okay. Um, toothpaste also like, again, it's so sad that like they put so much stuff in our products. Um, so for that, please just no fluoride that is going to be calcifying your pineal gland, which is your third eye, which is going to help you see past all the BS that you want to see past. Okay. This is your intuition, your guidance system. You don't want to be clogging this up and fluoride does that, which also fluoride is in the water. So like double thing, they, they don't want you. <laughs> there are forces that be that would not like you to be as tapped in and tuned in as you would like, but you would like to be. I'm sure of that because you're listening to this and using a good toothpaste, uh, which again, you could make your own. Um, I don't, I use some really good clean ones. I mean, you, there's even some with like bentonite clay with charcoal. Um, oh man, I got one of those charcoal ones. If you get one of the charcoal toothpaste, those, um, just be prepared to clean your sink like every day because it's like black, but, um, it does whiten your teeth. So, you know, there's a, a trade-off, I suppose, to um, wider teeth is that you have to clean your sink every day, but you don't have to get the charcoal ones. There's other really great ones. Um, most of the really, really good ones, like you're going to taste a little bit of a difference. It's not going to taste like Crest and Colgate. And um, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be like a super stickler on saying like, make sure there some people will tell you like don't do any with glycerin um but i also like understand you're a human being and i believe that fluoride is the worst if you can't avoid glycerin that's great um but it's it's in most of them and if you if you're making the transition going from one with like the traditional ones to a non-glycerin one is going to be a really big jump for you um so, you know, I honor where you're at and your journey. And, um, but we do have a whole microbiome in our mouth. Um, we have one in our gut and we have one in our mouth. We have one on our skin and it's really important to honor them and to take care of them. And the microbiome of your mouth is just as important as we, we hear about gut health all of the time. But um, I can actually always tell um, if I'm needing to detox or do like a cleanse or, you know, cleanse, I say in, in a broad spectrum, this could be like taking some supplements or uh, some binders or maybe just adding in some extra algae or green juice or something But I can tell because of how my mouth tastes. Again, I'm very sensitive and very tapped in and tuned in. Um, when I was uh, detoxing heavy metals, I, I knew that I needed to because I could taste heavy metals in my mouth. And um, whenever I have like bad breath, I will know like that is a sign that I need to do a detox or do a cleanse, uh, whatever it may be. And um, because contrary to what we're told, like bad breath is not like it's most of the time not just because of what's going on in your mouth it's because of what's going on in your gut so 
um, they play very, they play off of each other though. So like how you treat your, your mouth microbiome is going to influence your gut microbiome. So if you're like brushing with fluoride, like you're, that's actually damaging your gut. Um, and then taking good care of your gut is actually going to take good care of your mouth and your mouth microbiome as well. So they're, they're connected where our whole bodies are connected. Right. So, um, yeah, taking care of that. And another thing that my guides shared with me is that macros and just think what and how we eat, it's shifting a lot. And so just being really, being really gentle and understanding with your body as, as it's shifting and evolving because, um, and, and just honoring it because a while for a while you may have heard like carbs are bad and fat is good and protein is good or fat is bad and carbs are good and whatever it is you've probably heard it all I know I have and I've tried it all and I believe that there's a different there's a time and a place for everything so for example I'll I'll just share with you um just the past few days um I think that there, so backing up a step, I think that there's a big, um, misconception that the new earth being at a higher level of consciousness, um, we don't need food. We, and maybe this is the case for some, and also that like, we can be completely vegan. We don't need any animal products. And again, completely I think this could be the case for some if this isn't the case for you honor that okay honor that I know that for myself I have tried um many diets and where I'm at right now is I know that my body still needs and loves protein like it truly does and I feel I feel more satiated from animal products I only I typically eat animal products like meat once a day um, and not every day. And I get protein from plenty of other sources, but my body still craves protein. However, I noticed last night, it was like, I was feeling um, really low energy and I had literally just, just carbs for dinner, just carbs. That was what my body was wanting and needing. And so here's the thing. It's like, it's like, understanding and knowing and like listening to our bodies like they will know they will know and like I woke up feeling so much better so much better and had I not had that awareness though and like that honoring of what my body needed like that's that's half of it it's like our body's giving us a signal but we have to honor what they're what they're asking for and I thought another really interesting thing that they brought up is really like tuning into textures and consistencies of food. So like, are you feeling like tender and, um, what's, what's like the right word? Like if you're needing comfort, if you're needing comfort, you might really gravitate towards like smooth, creamy, like these types of foods that are going to like soothe you. Like literally think of like lotion or balm or like salve like you put that on when you get a cut or when your hands are dry and so when you have like that similar consistency consistency going into your body like think of what that's doing to like they were literally showing me like it will literally smooth out the emotions that you are experiencing um conversely there's absolutely a time for like crunchy and like these things that are like astringent and um so like textures and um uh, notes like bitterness and astringent like these all play a time and a place for what your body is needing so listen to your body honor your body it's going to it's going to crave um what it needs if your body is like mostly like okay i always i always like catch myself a little bit when i say like honor your cravings because like this, this doesn't mean like, uh, McDonald's, 
I don't think. I don't think because I think that there are just so many toxins in that food and um it has things that trick our brain into thinking like the msg that like chinese food is so notorious for using a copious amounts of msg and that is just going to um trigger that like that mechanism of craving so we think that we need it um msg you can find it in a lot of packaged like chips and packaged foods right so and it's monosodium glutamate but also like msg will be in many different forms unfortunately but like you can just google um names for msg there's like i think like 30 um and just like not buying any packaged products with those labels uh with that in the ingredient list um Yes. So now that we've talked about some tangible things, I really want to talk about some of the less tangible for activating our light bodies, our ascension. And you, you guys have heard me talk about this before, but sun and earth, I literally, I don't think I'm going to stop talking about this because it's so important. It's so important. We are of the earth. We are of the stars. And so what would make us think for one second that we didn't need to connect, that we didn't need to go and put our feet on the earth and receive the wisdom from the sun and the earth, like nature is our very nature and so connecting with it and i'm not talking like i'm not talking like just when you walk to your car i'm talking like every day it's just as important as like taking your vitamins or supplements like that is your vitamin and supplement i would say like more important than your vitamins and supplements getting the sunshine in your eyes, getting the earth on your body, whether it's your feet, whether you sit, whether you lay, it doesn't matter. Like literally connecting to the earth and receiving the codes from the sun. Like there are codes in the sun that will activate the cells in your body. They will turn on the cells in your body and awaken them and remind you of who you truly are this is i believe it's it's like a free like i'm channel, i know i shared with you like things that are you're gonna have to go and like buy and change and but this like literally this, these are free <laughs> these are free we can go and receive the sun and the earth um you don't have to even i mean there's so many fancy things you can buy now grounding mats and and take some vitamin D, but the best forms are going to be from the earth herself. And here's the thing, like I still take, I still take D. I'm not saying don't do any of these things, but I'm saying like the ultimate source is from our earth. As I like keep looking at my window here, like, oh, she's so beautiful. She nourishes, nourishes us so deeply. So those are, those are my health there's so many I was like trying to like jump I didn't want to like overwhelm you guys uh, and give you so many um I will give like some a couple bonus ones because I know we're getting kind of long here but I want to give just like a couple bonus ones and that is going to be algae I think is so cool and beneficial um I did a episode with Catherine from energy bits uh that's my favorite algae i will link that episode and also um i have a code if you would like to try those i've tried other chlorella and spirulina and i just haven't found one that i like as much as theirs um and also so i use that a lot for detox 
but this is like daily detox. Like I take it every day and you don't have to have like, she's, she said in the episode, she'll take like, she's taken a hundred before you don't need a hundred. Um, if you want be my guest, I take like five a day. Um, they're like little tablets and I think they are so yummy personally, which is, I think, cause my body craves them. Oh, so that's what I was saying about cravings circling back honor what your body is craving. My body literally craves chlorella and spirulina, literally craves it. Um, so I honor that. And sometimes my body craves protein. And so I honor that. Sometimes my body craves carbs. And so I honor that. You know what? You want to know another craving that I have had recently? Ice cream, like dairy-free coconut milk ice cream. It has been nourishing my soul on such a deep level. And this is what I'm talking about, about like, we have to listen to what our bodies are wanting. We have to, because it's like having that for me is also nourishing something else so deep within me that I can't even understand. But I honor that. Now, do I think like sugar is like something like the best thing ever and that we should have our whole diets around? No, but like there's a time and a place for it. And if we're having good quality, the, I think that that's like the be- the biggest thing is like the quality of what we're consuming as well as like listening because our body actually needs, like if it's really craving something that is good and pure. Um, and I say, I say these like, is ice cream good and pure? You know what? I think that if you're getting a good quality one, like that is what your body wants and needs. And that is like a, okay. Um, so, and, and here's the thing like that, that consistency, that's what I was really sharing about that consistency is so nourishing on a soul level that it was like smoothing out something for me. And I trust, I trust that my body knows what it needs. And that's been a learning process for me as I'm sure it has been for you because we've been taught to not listen to our bodies for so long, like to outsource our needs. And we have to consult a doctor and we have to consult a nutritionist and a dietitian and whoever's telling us to do what on Instagram, but like your body knows, your body knows what it needs. And my hope is that some of these can just aid as a reminder to allowing your intuition to shine and to lead you and illuminate the path for what your own version of health and wellness looks like, because it's going to look so different for every person. And that is my goal is to show you, to show you the path to you. Your body knows what it needs. It's just getting rid of the noise and some of the toxins purifying our vessel so that we can actually receive our wisdom and our guidance. And by doing some of these simple, simple things, you are going to be well on your way, my friend. And so with that, I would love to hear some of your health tips and tricks this there's I'm probably going to have to do a part two because there's so many more things that I want to get to um I only covered like I didn't even cover everything on my list um but I would love to hear your your questions your comments um what resonates what doesn't what you're using what has helped you what you want to know more on um let me know Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button while you are at it. And feel free to let me know on Instagram as well at I am Jasmine Elite. And until next time, my loves, I'm sending you all infinite love.